breath of fresh air, when a spell works, when in 2020 everything's going wrong and suddenly you get something right. Oh my gosh, I am so happy. So I created this spell and it took two weeks to work, but it worked really well, surprisingly well. So well that I was almost like, oh my God, this is too much for me right now. So I'm gonna go through my process of creating this spell as well as what I did when I cast the spell and also the timeline and then what my experience was with this spell in general. It was like a whirlwind of crazy emotions and stuff like that happening. I was going through a little bit of a breakup situation so I was like, okay, I need to do something. So I decided to create the spell that would help me get what I needed from a relationship. So what I would say normally for like love spell type things is don't focus on a specific person, just focus on the energy that you want to create and bring into your life. And that's exactly what I did. So let's start off with me performing this spell. I was thinking about different symbols that I wanted to incorporate in a spell. Um, since I'm a symbol freak, I basically use magical symbols in order to manifest what I want, my desires, my goals, anything like that. So I decided to kind of put two different systems together and I wanted to experiment because I'd never really done this before. So I wanted to put a rune together with geomantic symbols and I was experimenting with exactly what I wanted and I decided to create a wheel of kind of cycles. So what I decided to do was to mix the Gufu rune, which is the rune of gifts, of relationships and something solid, like a partnership, with different geomantic symbols for exactly what I wanted to transpire. So I started off in the east side with Pu'er. Pu'er is a geomantic symbol meaning boy, and it kind of symbolizes a sort of transformation and willpower and having the courage to get what you want. So with the boy symbol, that can also symbolize a man or a boy or someone that you're trying to focus on in that sense. Again, I'm not focusing on a specific person, I'm just focusing on the energy that I'm looking for. And I decided to start off in the east because that is where the sun rises, that's where the day begins, that's where the cycles begin. So I started with boy in the east side and that was my general idea of what I wanted some sort of transformation that would create this willed person into existence. Um, again, so with boy, there is a sort of transformation happening during that time. It can also be a bit of a struggle and um, it can be um, a geomantic symbol of like male power as well. So you have to be careful with this symbol because it can either represent the male figure, the boy, or it can represent this courage and transformation as well. So you have to think of the different elements of the symbols as well and not just like, oh, the symbol symbolizes this one thing. So what I normally say is know everything about a symbol before using it because then you'll be able to understand if something goes wrong. Maybe you used like the symbol in the way that it wasn't supposed to be used or in a more negative connotation when you weren't really thinking about it because there are good or bad aspects of symbols as well. So you have to think about that when you're creating these symbols as well. Then I did Fortuna Major and I put that in the south side, which of course south is kind of the fiery inspiration, that crazy spark that um, gives you that energy to keep going. And Fortuna Major is like, one of my favorite symbols. It's the best geomantic symbol to use if you're looking to get exactly what you want, like success that you want. And so I put that in the south side because that is that willpower. I want to create that just everything that I want in this person that I'm looking for. So Fortuna Major is one of my go-to symbols. I'm just like Fortuna Major all day or day because <laughs> that's just like everything. So going on to the west side, I decided to put Letitia in the west side. And the west is water, it is um, emotion, and what I wanted was to have happiness. And Letitia is the symbol of happiness. It is the geomantic symbol of you kind of sometimes being in your head or sometimes being in the clouds, having your head in the clouds, but also being able to enjoy what you have. That joy comes out. Sometimes it is a symbol of 
not really um, being solid or sticking with what you have. Sometimes it's just like the joy that you have in the moment, but it's also something that you are present in. It's a symbol where you're just like, you're there and you're happy and you're enjoying yourself. And that's what I wanted. I wanted to be able to enjoy myself, not have the heaviness of the past or anything like that coming up. Just being able to fully enjoy myself in the moment. So I put Letitia in the West, give me my happy sense of emotional well-being because everyone knows that I need it. <laughs> so Letitia in the West. Then in the culmination of this entire symbol, I wanted to have in the North, which is the basic full transformation, I wanted to have conjunctio, which is meeting, which is um, a union of some sort, a union of opposites. And of course, that creates the relationship itself. With all of these different cycles, you finally get the relationship, which is the transformation of the relationship in the end of the cycles. So I wanted to also enclose all of these things in a circle. And circles symbolize, of course, eternity, um, also power, also being able to just have everything in one place so that it all just comes together. So I wanted to have some sort of symbol that could just culminate and just have everything just come together. So I put a circle around all of the symbols and I then contemplated everything that I was looking for, everything that I wanted, um, sat there for a good like five minutes just thinking about all the symbols and how I really wanted them to come together. And with these symbols, with geomantic symbols in general, whenever I draw them out, I like to connect the dots so that you can specifically see and have a vision of what they are giving you, what they are creating. It's always good to visualize what you're doing in your magic so that it can create a better sense of what you want. So with Pu'er, it looks like a boy, kind of like Link, um, when you link all the dots together. With um, Fortuna Major, it's two triangles coming down together. It's kind of just like pointing to the direction that you want to go. Letitia looks like a house when you connect the dots. And then Conjunctio, it's two triangles and opposite ends coming together, which is that union. So I really like to be able to envision the symbols, so it's really good to connect the dots. And something that I forgot to mention is, I started off with the color red in my dry erase markers. The color red is really good because it's the color of power and passion and just everything, the willpower, the fire, but it's also the color of blood. And according to the law of sympathy, if you use colors that you know relate to other things, blood gives us life, it can give life to the spell itself. If you use the color red, if you use the color blue, it can bring emotion in and so many other things. So what I wanted to do was bring life to this spell. And I usually use the color red. Unfortunately, my dry erase marker was a little messed up and it didn't fully give me that spark of red that I wanted. So I decided to go over it with the color black. And of course the color black is a color of the unknown, of what you're not sure of, but also of darkness and kind of being one with your darkness as well. Like as witches, we wanna know both our light and dark sides so that we can balance them out. Of course the color black can have that negative connotation, but in this sense, it was something unknown to me that I wanted to also bring to light. So that also helped in this sense as well. So after a little bit of time of me just like trying to figure things out and after the spell worked, I tried to just kind of move on from it and you know think about it every so often but not think too much about it. Of course with spells like you don't want to just like forget it completely. You don't want to like just say okay I'm done with that moving on to the next thing. You want to be able to give yourself the opportunity for your spell to work. Like for example if you're looking to get an A on a test and you write a spell you don't just like okay now forget everything that you ever did and not st even study for the test and think you're gonna ace it completely. You want to be able to also study, also put yourself out there and give yourself that opportunity for your spell to work. The universe wants you to get what you want but it also isn't gonna give you what you want with you just sitting on your bed and twiddling your thumbs all day. You want to be able to give yourself that ability for your spell to work. And that's exactly what I did. I kind of put myself out there, I like met new people and all this stuff. And after two weeks, <laughs> I ended up meeting someone that checked all the freaking boxes and it was insane. I was like, 
Yo, this actually worked, what? I was so excited. He was attentive, he took really good care of me, he was really nice, sweet, wanted to show me a good time, gave me everything that I wanted in terms of like, just someone that I really could maybe see myself being with in the long term, in terms of everything that he had on paper. The only thing is, disclaimer, <laughs> If you're not ready for a full-term, full-blown relationship, I would say don't do the spell until you know for certain that you're completely balanced and you're completely ready. I still had some internal things going on in terms of like a breakup that's been happening throughout the year and things like that. I wasn't fully ready to not necessarily move on i wasn't fully ready to be that forever girl or be forever with someone new or with this new person um he would say oh my god like i have all these plans for us i want you to meet people that i know my friends my family all of these things and it kind of made me take a step back and i was like wow i don't know if i'm ready for this because for me like i was thinking of doing this stuff with someone else so having this new person say all of these things really just started drumming up all of these things that I wanted with someone else. So I realized that I needed to do more internal work for myself, do more shadow work, do more that I needed in order to get to that place with someone new. And it's kind of a bummer because I really liked this guy, like he was really nice. Um, my spell worked amazingly better than i ever thought it would he took me to so many places we dressed up we felt good we had good conversations you know i did notice some things i didn't necessarily like but you have to you know you don't like everything about someone but at the end of the day myself knowing myself i needed a little bit more time in between the breakup and being with someone new so yes this spell works exponentially it's absolutely incredible and I would suggest doing other symbols as well if you want something different experimenting with your own symbols that resonate really well with you and stuff like that but definitely be in your own power be ready for this spell to work I wasn't necessarily ready for it I thought I was but then I realized I really needed some more time. And that's okay. If you need more time before, you know, being in a new relationship or meeting new people or something like that, that's totally fine. Do not rush yourself. Do not think that you have to be with someone because there's no one there for you right now. Just know that it will happen eventually, especially if you want it, especially if you do the spell or any other spells. But if you need that time for yourself, have it. And I'm really happy that I realized that because I didn't want to be thinking about someone else while I was with someone else. I didn't want to be thinking about what I could have had with someone else. I wanted to be fully in it and I wasn't fully in it and it wasn't really fair to him because of that. So I kind of don't want to beat myself up about it. I'm really happy that the spell works and I know that in the future if I want to do the spell again when I'm fully ready it will work. But um, yeah, just know that the spell is freaking incredible. It's gonna work better than you ever expected. It's gonna give you everything that you want, but just know that if you're not ready for what you want, that's okay. Just don't perform the spell yet. So yeah, that was my experience with this spell. It was absolutely incredible and I'm so grateful that it worked and I'm excited for what's gonna happen in my future when I'm fully ready to start over again. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.